I'm going to be talking about a very unique pen that I have, and it's quite rare. That's a Sailor. Sailor makes very, I think, fantastic nibs that are unmatched in the world. So, most people who are familiar with Sailor know that they make a special line of nibs called uh, the Nagahara, Nagahara Specialty Nibs. And they look, here's an example of one. This is called, this is a Cross Music, the Cross Music Emperor. So it's two nibs welded one on top of the other. And they add a, a blob of iridium at the at the point where they shape it into one of many of one of multiple shapes depending on which model you get. And this one is based on an architect nib. It has an overfeed at the top. And well, I think these are these are quite rare as well. Sailor has discontinued making these nibs. I think in late 2015 they announced that they were having too much demand and not enough. I think not enough time to make them, so they stopped taking orders. And ever since then, as of, as of now, I think, you know, July 2017, I don't think they've been taking new orders, and they're very, they're, these are very hard to find. Um, they, they used to command a very large price. I can only imagine they command an even bigger price now. So if you actually look at the at the website, at Sailor's website for the, Naga, for the Nagahara nibs, where they list all the options, they show a picture, I think, of the original Nagahara nibmeister. That's his name. And the picture that they show of the pen is not actually what you get. And it wasn't until years later that I was able to get one that actually does look like the picture. And that's the one that is the focus of this review. It's this pen right here. This is a sterling silver pen. You see it has a sterling silver right there. It's a full sterling silver uh, sailor nib, sailor pen, based on the 1911 model. And it has the original Nagahara special point, uh, Nagahara cross emperor. Cross point emperor, sorry. <laughs> so this is what they actually have on the picture of, of the Sailor website with the Nagahara story. And I'm going to put them side by side. You can see that they are quite different. The original has, of course, the original Sailor nib design, where they don't have this engraving on the side, but they just have 1911 in big letters, Sailor Japan. And the overfeed is also very different. If you look at them side by side, you'll see that the overfeed on the one on the left slopes downwards and the scroll is on top of the nib, where this one, it just goes straight and the scroll is on the bottom of the nib. The, the overfeed is designed to keep ink flowing to the breather hole and the, the, the slit between the tines in order to keep ink there. But I've never had any issue with it drying out. These pens are fantastic. They, they never dry out. Um, no, if you take care of them. So, as you can see that the iridium on the original is also far more, far more thicker and the, the weld between the two nibs is also much more apparent than on the one on the right. So, as far as I know, the story is that the original Nagahara Sr. was the one who invented this type of nib. And I think this is the old style, the one that he worked on. And this newer style is the one that his apprentice, I think his son, is the one that works on these now. So there's quite a difference in both aesthetics and writing experience. One thing that's important to talk about is that on the website, if you look at the Nagai Horror Story, this is the nib that is shown. But also inside the detail, the paragraph introducing it, it talks about the overfeed and how it's 100% gold. They say it's solid gold. Now, I'm inclined to believe it is solid gold for the old one, but not the new one. On the Fountain Pen Network forum, somebody has posted that their Emperor feed on a similar pen has started to flake off so the gold plate on it has flaked off and they can see a little bit of gray underneath which would indicate that it's metal instead of gold or just steel instead of gold so that's something that I definitely want to have some sort of confirmation on I've never actually tested this overfeed and it might even be it might be gold plated on top of it anyways sailor gold plates are gold sometimes so so that's definitely something that that, that, that should be considered uh, these I have not been able to find another person post any pictures of the old overfeed style. These are very rare, more so more so than this one because the, the fact that it's the old style, I've seen maybe one or two pictures where they, they show uh, another specialty nib with the two nibs on top of each other, but I've never seen one with the weld, I mean with the, with the emperor tab on top, except for that sailor picture that's on their website. This one, these, are, these were fairly common when you could get them. Well, relatively common if you know but there's quite a few pictures of these online so so this pen 
if anybody has any information about it definitely I would love to know about it um, well let's see for comparison they're basically the same size because sailor sailor nibs are standard throughout the range which I love about them they have the, the initials NAG I think for Nagahara on the side this one is a little bit hidden but yeah that's that's what it says and really it's just it's just something else to have this to have this pen as a writing instrument I will do a writing sample in another video that's coming up where I'll be comparing these two to another another specialty nib and two more actually five specialty nibs in total that, that are here I'm gonna compare them but in terms of in terms of body and design these are just I think normal sailor pens it's really just the nibs the nibs that make them that make them special this is a piston filler I got this from John Matashaw and I had him put that nib on the piston because it usually comes with uh, with the converter and this is a stainless steel stainless steel body uh, actually for comparison since I guess this, this is a review of the stainless steel well the stainless steel is of I mean sorry the sterling silver the sterling silver body is is quite heavy it's I mean it's not it's I wouldn't use it posted if I use it I, I use it without the cap because it's very back heavy with it it's a snap cap I think it's one of the few sailors that's actually snap cap because most of them have threads but it, the snap cap works perfectly it never dries out um, I like that it's silver all the way throughout so if you open it up and you look inside it's just metal all the way through except for those threads everything else should be silver yeah the cap is entirely silver as well it's not plated it's just all the way but it's it's a quite heavy. It's it's a very nice pen. If you like if you like a hefty pen, these these pens are worth getting. Um, actually, I have another one here, so I'm gonna compare them side by side. Here I have two more sailors, and these are I guess the respective original versions. This is the old style before and after. I want to say I'm gonna do before and after. So here's the old style. What the nib is supposed to look like. Well, that's the regular old style sailor nib, and here I have the new modern sailor nib. You see the, the design difference? Also, the newer nibs are more yellow and, and gold color. I think supposedly sailor plates their nibs more yellow. Okay, this one I think is original. This is actually 21k gold. I think that's how it's supposed to look, but this one just looks extremely yellow. <laughs> and I've seen a few pens where both their 14k and 21k where they're this yellow. I think the rumor is that they plate it yellow so that. It looks like it's more or more expensive than it actually is. But if it's 21k gold, it shouldn't matter. I mean, gold is gold. You don't have to plate it more yellow. But the point is that here we have the old style regular and the old style um, specialty nib. And the old style, I mean the new style nib design with the, with the new style overfeed specialty nib. So, so yeah, for comparison purposes, there it is. All, all fantastic writers. So there it is. Uh, one more thing that I want to compare is the size. Okay, so they're they're standing up, they're touching the the bottom here. You can see that the 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 silver pen is a little bit longer, and I have a good theory as to why it's longer. Everybody in the pen world knows that Sailor copied the Mont Blanc design, which I have right here. Right, I did another review. No, actually, I'm going to do a review comparing them, showing the differences. But here's the original Mont Blanc. Here's the Sailor. Right, they look they look identical. Oh, sorry, camera's not in focus. The original 146 was a little bit shorter, and later in the mid 1990s, they decided to make it bigger. Right, so they increased it maybe by two millimeters or whatever that is, maybe three millimeters. And as a result, Staley was still using the the short model or the short mold for their pens, and Mont Blanc probably in response made their pen a little bit bigger. However, when Sailor came out with the 1911 Sterling Silver, then they made it bigger in size as well, so that it matches the same height as the 19 as a Mont Blanc 146. So yes, Sailor is very inspired by Mont Blanc. So there we go. Uh, that's the overview of these pens, or at least of Sterling Silver and the nibs. I really just wanted to focus on the nibs in this video and the body for the silver one, since uh, Sailor 1911 has been talked about for a lot. One thing I do want to point out that there's two versions, or actually there's three versions of, of the 1911 Silver that I've seen. There is this one that has a matte black section. It's matte black and this one has a sterling silver barrel a sterling silver section on it to match the barrel and there's a third one that I've seen that has just the shiny 
shiny black plastic with no trim ring at the end, which is the newest version. I think these are also discontinued, regardless whether it has a, a specialty nib or not, just the sterling silver has been discontinued, I think, as of last year, 2016. So, again, if you see one, definitely worth picking it up. Um, I mean, it's pure silver, it's, it's definitely worth it. So, that's my review of these two pens and overview of the nib. If you have any more information about these nibs, or, you know, the original Nagahara nib, I would love to know about it. Just send me a message on YouTube or, you know, or just make a video response, but definitely let me know. Thanks for watching.